Good afternoon, scholars and staff. Welcome to MB News. I am your host, Ms. Moreno. Buenas tardes a todos los padres de la comunidad de Montevela. Yo soy la maestra Moreno. Bienvenidos a nuestro noticiero. Voy a comenzar con un consejo para ayudar a sus hijos a estar preparados para el aprendizaje remoto. Un consejo que les doy es que, por favor, uh, que los niños tengan sus Chromebooks cargado, que cada noche los carguen para que estén listos en las mañanas. El segundo consejo que les tengo es que sus hijos tengan sus materiales listos. Por ejemplo, si la clase comienza a las 9 de la mañana, antes de las 9, antes de que sus hijos inicien la sesión, que agarren todos los materiales neces necesarios. Por ejemplo, si van a usar el libro, libreta, lápiz, que por favor tenga los materiales listos antes, no esperarse a las nueve, meterse a la sesión con la maestra, luego decir, oh maestra, puedo ir por mis cosas, por favor que tengan todo listo antes. Ahora con Brianna, now we have Brianna with tips on how to stay safe. Thank you, Ms. Moreno. Hi, my name is Brianna and today I will be talking about how to stay safe during COVID-19. Number one tip is to wear a mask. You should always wear a mask to protect yourself and to protect others. The next tip is to sanitize and wash your hands. The, you, need to, you need to wash your hands to, to stay safe and get all the germs away. The last tip is to social distance. We need a social distance to, to stay safe and protect ourselves. Following these tips will help you stay safe. Right, Camila? Camila, do you want to tell us about your mom's experience? Yes, actually, my mom at work, she's encountered coronavirus many times. We've even gotten tested and they came negative. And the reason to that is because she always had her mask on and never took it off. Thank you, Camila. Now moving on to Camila and Eric with BLM. Hi, my name is Camila. And my name is Eric. Today we'll talk about the Black Lives Matter movement. Also, all lives can't matter until Black Lives Matter. And something people should know is that Black Lives Matter is not a trend. And also some protests are pretty peaceful, but not all of them. And there's been so many Black people getting mistreated. If they can't treat Black people the same because of their skin color, then the protests won't be so peaceful anymore. And we won't stop till they're treated equally. When you go to the protest, make sure you have a mask to stay safe. And I have a little reminder for the people who think Black Lives Matter protests are a waste of time. How do you think you got your rights? Now, my partner Eric will talk about Breonna Taylor's death. Something you should know is that cops killed her and she still hasn't gotten justice. Breonna Taylor was a person who lived a normal life until one night a tailor and her boyfriend were asleep at night then three pl plain clothes officers arrived at their apartment tailor and her boyfriend thought it was a break-in and her boyfriend called 911 and fired his licensed firearm tailor who was unarmed was shot eight times brianna taylor was only 26 the day she died was on march 13 2020 she still hasn't gotten some justice, and people only talked about it when it happened. And now, Brianna with some TikTok news. Thank you, Eric. Is TikTok getting banned? That's the question going around the world right now. So let's talk about it. On August 6, Pre President Donald Trump issued executive orders that would ban the app TikTok from the U.S. if it was not sold to an American company. So let's hope that someone will want to buy it. Microsoft was looking into buying it, so let's hope that they do. Now moving on to Saul with the environmental loot news. Thank you and uh, hello, my name is Saul and let's start with plastic. Recently we were studying an article about plastic waste and how plastic is harming so many innocent, innocent animals like whales, fish, sharks and others. Fun fact, the Great Pacific Garbage Patch is twice the size of Texas. Our teacher showed us a shocking picture of a whale that had 20, 220 pounds of plastic inside of him. Eric how, did, Eric, how did I make you feel? How, how it made me feel was shock because one plastic bottle doesn't weigh that much. And if there were millions, it, it would only be a, a little bit. Also, it, it's just not cool to have that much plastic in, in the world, in the w dirty water where f fish and 
turtles, and many other sea animals that die every year just because we throw, don't throw our garbage away. Every time garbage goes to the ocean, it, it counts as the death of a fish, and we need to stop. Thanks for that. Camila, how did, how did that picture make you feel? To me, it was really sad because for us, plastic it's good, but for the animals, it's not. And even if we throw it away, it always manages to get into the ocean. And well, can I restart? It, it was really sad to see that because we use plastic every single day. And sometimes it benefits for us. There's benefits for us, but for the animals, it can it'll just result in death. We can try to get it all out, but no matter what, there's always going to be a piece of plastic in the ocean. Thank you for that. Brianna, how did that make picture make you feel? That picture made me feel really sad about how us humans are treating the earth. And every time, just because someone couldn't throw away their garbage, so many animals are dying. Every small step we, we, we take makes a difference. Make sure that you switch from plastic water bottles to reusable ones. Now introducing our very first guest of 2020, my uncle. Can you introduce yourself and tell us where you grew up? Yes, hello, my name is Jose Hernandez, uh, born and raised in San Jose, California. Uh, thanks for having me. I am proud of my uncle because he served in the military. What branch did you serve and why did you choose to join the military? Well, I joined the United States Marine and I joined because at 17 I wasn't sure what I was going to do and I talked to a recruiter and he you know told me about all the great possibilities and all the great experience I was going to get and it sounded like a great idea at the time and I and I joined at I signed my uh my contract at 17 and I went off to boot camp at 18. I want to thank you for serving our country. What are your plans now that you are out of the military? I'm into psychology. I like learning about people's behavior and going to school. Uh, my major is psychology. Um, right now I work with adolescents that have um, behavioral health issues. And I, yeah, I enjoy helping people and enjoy helping adolescents. Uh, my goal eventually is to work with uh, veterans that have PTSD. I've found that veterans, dealing with veterans, we relate to each other and a little bit more uh, personal. Anything else you would like to say? Yeah, I would like to say that the military is a great, a great thing. Uh, you get to travel the world. It also teaches you a lot about discipline and respect. And I don't recommend it to everybody, but if you are interested, definitely uh, do your research and look into it and uh, Maybe find something that can be a benefit for when you get out. Because in the military, there's jobs. Finding one that would translate into civilian world would be the, probably the best. So in the military, do they pay once you get out for your school? Yes. So the military has a benefit called the GI Bill. And it pays for your school. It pays you to go to school. And it pays you. Uh, it pays your tuition. Uh, pays all your fees. Pays for your books. So it's... Um, and you don't have to go to a university or college. You can also do a vocational school. So if there's a trade that you're interested in, they also pay for that. Thank you for taking time for your from your busy schedule. And and also thank you for joining us. Um, our goal is for every week to have a positive role model and that the students can relate to. And I really appreciate that you took your time to be part of our MV News as our very first positive role model for this school year. So thank you for your time. No problem. Anytime. Thank you for joining us at MB News. And like we say every single day, go scholars. Go scholars. Go scholars. Go scholars. Go scholars. Go scholars.